I just think there's something enduring about our relationship with dogs, our need and interest in the idea of a hero. And in this case, there's something sort of magical about this particular character. He was a real dog who had an extraordinary life. He was a puppy born on a battlefield in World War I who survived the bombing of a kennel. A young American GI was sent to investigate one of the fields that had just been reclaimed. And he went in and there were a couple dozen dogs who had been killed by artillery. In the back of the kennel, though, he heard some noise and he found a female German Shepherd who had just given birth. And he brought her and her puppies out of that kennel and back to the barracks. After the war had ended, Lee came up with this idea that he would try to get the dog in the movies. Went knocking on doors through Hollywood and eventually got a part for the dog in a movie. And from there he became a huge star all over the world. From silent film to talking films to vaudeville, to comic books, to children's books, to television, to movies. Rintintin as a character and as a real dog has lasted for almost a hundred years. The story got bigger and bigger. You know, when I started reporting it, I thought it was just the story of Lee Duncan, the guy who found Rin Tin Tin on the battlefield and turned him into a movie star. And then I realized it was also the story of Burt Leonard, the producer who developed the television show and who essentially took over the character. And then I realized that it was also the story of Daphne Hereford, the woman who has carried on the legacy and has devoted her life to it. To me, it's a way of looking at the things that people care about and continue caring about. Why do those things last?